So today's experiment is the estimation of percentage of iron in iron tablets. The aim of the experiment is to be able to calculate the percentage of, an iron, of iron in an iron tablet, be able to perform a redox titration involving iron 2 plus and the manganate 7 iron, and the procedure of the experiment will be crush the tablet using the pestle and the mortar. Step two, transfer the crushed tablet to a weighing boat and find the combined mass and record the mass. Step three, empty the crushed tablet into the small beaker and re-weigh the weighing boat, record its mass. Step four, add 50 centimeters cubed, the four mole per dm cubed, sulfuric acid, Stir to dissolve as much of the tablet as possible. In step five, filter the solution to remove any undissolved solids into a volumetric flask. Make up to the mark with distilled water. Stopper and shake. Step six, pipette 25 centimeters cubed of this solution into a conical flask. Step seven is titrate the iron two solution with potassium manganate solution until the mixture has just turned pink. Now note, on standing, a pink colour will disappear because there is a secondary reaction between the potassium manganate and another ingredient in the tablet. So don't add any further potassium manganate. Record your results in an appropriate format and repeat the titration twice. Okay, step one, crush. iron tablet and the pestle and mortar. Okay, now we have finely powdered tablet. Step two, transfer the crushed tablet to a weighing boat and find their combined mass record the mass. Empty the crushed tablet into the small beaker and reweigh the weighing boat. Record its mass. Add 50 centimeters cubed of four mole per dm cubed sulfuric acid. Stir to dissolve as much of the tablet as possible. Filter the solution to remove any undissolved solids into the volumetric flask. Pipette 25 centimeters cubed of the solution into the conical flask. Record the volume at the beginning of the experiment. Add the potassium manganate until the solution just turns pink. Oops, overshot that end point a little bit there. Never mind, it's only the first run. Record the volume of the manganate solution at the end of the titration. Let's have a go at a second run. Hopefully this one will be a little more accurate than the first. So 25 centimeters cubed of the iron solution. Record the volume of the manganate solution at the beginning of the second run. Form the second titration. Hopefully the end point will be a little bit more accurate than the first one. What do you think? Am I going to hit the end point? Record the volume of potassium manganate solution at the end of the titration.
take a final 25 centimeters cubed of the iron 2 solution. Record the starting volume of potassium manganate solution for the third run. Can I do it again? Can I hit the end point within one drop? Record the final titration reading for the third run. Now, using the data you have collected, calculate the percentage iron composition of the tablet.